someone, anyone, save her. Dang it, wrong by. Let's start it up already. Where you at? Okay, I forget that you start with this Nisba. Nisba. It's sound like a Bible, the Bible uh, book. Matthew, Mark, John, Luke, Nisba. Nisba one, Nisba two. All right. Dang it, wrong by. Some more dangan, 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 rompa, dangan, dangan, rompa, dangan, 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 rompa, dangan, dangan, rompa. Anything can be turned into a song, and I love it. That's the power of music. Okay, so we're out here just doing our free time thing. Yes, yes, we are indeed. So let me just take a look and see who's around right now. I'm sure if I go up into my map and I can see exactly who's in which area. Uh, I don't really want to hang out with Hifumi though. Who else can I kick? Actually, I do want to hang out with Hifumi. I feel like I, I really don't be giving Hifumi a chance and I low-key want to do the voice. So let's go in here and talk to Hifumi. How y'all doing today? Hope you're having a great day today. I know I am. <laughs> Even if it's not a great day, you got to try and make it feel like one. It's like... What you sad for? Yes, did you need something? If you don't have any business with me, please leave me alone. Mm, should I hang up with a fool for a while? Yeah, he's sad. He, like, he heartbroken over that alter ego mess. He want his 2D cool. Um, Are you trying to cheer me up? <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. I'm just really exhausted. Is it recording? Okay. But I do appreciate it. It's nice having friends who check up on you. I spent some time with a fool and I learned a lot about him that day. If Fumi and I grew a little closer today, that's what I meant to say. Would you like to give Fumi a present? Sure. What would you like to give him? I would like to give him um this slim fast. I don't think I unlocked that yet. Let me see. Definitely not a diamond. I gotta go hit the gift shop and get some more um some more gifts because I ain't really got much left in here. Here, here, take this, take this school crest. Proof that you've cleared the prologue. It's a, I don't give a damn, take it. it. It's what we in the industry like to call a key item. Okay. The jacket? Please take it, sir. Sorry, Fumi, I don't have any gifts for you. Sorry, no. You want you want a gift? I'll, I'll, I'll. Mm -hmm. you take, I don't know, bro. I don't want to flame you too much. You don't deserve it. Now then, this time, would you like to learn about one of my many legends? Legends. <laughs> Naturally, you don't become the ultimate fanfic creator without a few legends spreading up around you. One such legend is how, in middle club, in middle school, I was able to convince the school to create a fanfic club. Here we go. And from J, I exposed myself and my fanfic to the world at large. And by the way, do you happen to know what all my work is based on? Sorry, no idea. Yes, indeed. Well, surely you've heard of the highly acclaimed anime Demon Angel, Pretty Pudgy Princess. No, I've never heard of that book. Hmm. Hmm. Now, you... Hmm. Hmm. Now, you might think that that sounds totally cliche, but you would be wrong. I didn't simply copy the pretty girl princess pickle style. I took a total meta sci-fi sci approach. My perspective was seen as quite odd, of course, but if you really look at what I was doing, my version of Princess Pickle was a total antithesis of the new wave sci-fi movement. In fact, it was my response to Jay-Z Biller's spe speculative fiction sh What? What are you talking about? Here we go! Oh, my geekdom is leaning out again. I apologize. So it would seem. Anyway, unlike most fans, I never saw Princess Pickle as your typical mo anime. Yeah, I definitely got that impression, but I can't believe you were able to single-handedly persuade the school to let you make a club. <laughs> oh, that's because I bribed him with the cut of my profits. Profits? You made money? <laughs> and I've only gotten better at it. I'm blowing up. Now then, up till now, I've always focused on taking part in Princess Piggle's single-setting events. Single-setting? What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. 
It's when a circle gets together to come up with a project or event focused on only one show or series. So a Princess Pickles single setting event will only allow works involving Princess Pickles, see? On the flip side, if there's no restriction on the number of properties, do you know what that's called? A multi-level? Multi-setting? A single setting event only allows material from one show or series, and the opposite of that would is when anything is allowed from any property. Um, fan jam. Is it like a fan jam or something? <laughs> this is why I hate newbies. You know nothing! Perhaps you're thinking of game jams, which, while interesting, are indie dev specific. Get it right or pay the price. Uh, okay, a single setting, okay, blah, blah, blah. It's called, um, a special event. There's no limit over it. It had to be a pretty large scale kind of thing, so is it a special oh, event? Oh, fairies. A free for all. The opposite of it, uh, sorry, the opposite of the single setting, is it just called a free for all? So it would seem. That's absolutely right. There are actually plenty of free for all events every year, and yet. You know nothing! More and more slackers are showing up with no idea what fanfic really means. It's so annoying! So, in order to crush those peons with all my might, I'm going to start taking part in more free for alls. <laughs> crush them? That doesn't sound very friendly. <sighs> this <laughs> is unforgivable! I don't participate in these events to make friends, dummy. And I cannot forgive those lazy bastards. And don't tell me to ignore them. If you let some little wimp survive, we'll record it later. Golly, you talk a lot. Play any RPG where the villain spares the hero when he's level one, and what happens? Boom, dead. I kind of get it, but I kind of don't. Mm -hmm. It's a doggy doggy industry where only the most brutal survive. Oh, but don't worry. I'm going to start you off easy by getting you involved in some simple cosplay action. Huh? I'm going to get involved? Wait, did you say cosplay? Ah, uh -huh. You're a pretty good looking guy. If your costume was decent enough, I wouldn't even let you work my booth. <laughs> I bet you could even net yourself a magical girl harem. Yes, indeed. So with that in mind, let's change the word of fanfic together. What does that even mean? Okay, nice. If Fumi loves... He takes this nerd shit seriously. I probably looked like I was running away as I went back to my room. <laughs> Why did you have to fr fry him like that before you went back? Please be nighttime. Great, I still have some time. I feel like I'm wasting my time. Okay, let's... Okay, where we got it? Did he really just mention Sayaka right there? Okay, let's, let's keep it going. Okay, let me open my map. 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 Ooh, Kuya? He's in his room? Oh, uh, hell yeah. Come see me. Come and see me for once. What do you want? I wonder who it was coming to talk to me. It turns out it's the always useless, ever incompetent Mikado. Should I hang out with Buyakaya for a while? Um, yeah, but I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go get a prize for him real quick. I'm gonna go get a prize. I'm looking for the gift shop. I think this might be the gift shop. We do worry about a gift set. I'm looking for the gift shop. No, 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 no. No, no. I gotta talk to bro. I don't care about no gift. Yeah. So pissed. Yeah! I'm on the morals committee. Fudging what? M maybe I should leave him alone. He in here tripping. He in here talking to Satan. One on one combos. Here we go. The store. I'm like, where is it? We're at the store. We're at the store. I'm finna buy me. Hella. 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 Would you like to try your hand? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. I'm gonna just do one coin at a time. What the hell are those? Bloomers? Repeat percentage. Why are some of them not gifts or something? Bro, I'm getting plenty of items doing one coin at a time. And that was a lucky one? I'll take it. Keep going. Oh, that was a double, double joint. Give me that. Oh, uh, what was that? Sly Cooper handkerchief? Okay, give me one more coin. Uh, who is that? Uh, a Mickey Mouse handkerchief? Oh, uh, who is that? Uh, Inspector Gadget? Oh, uh, a wristwatch?
Okay, I got plenty of gifts. Now it's time to go back and talk to uh, Miss Mancuya. What are you? Yep. That's fine. Fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. Damn. Damn. I spent some time with Buyakia. Kuya and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kuya a present? Definitely. Let's give him the least. I'll give him some sea salt. <laughs> you think you can move me with this? I'm not so easily impressed. Uh-oh. I don't think he was too happy with that. I thought that... Wow. Okay. So it, it does matter the quality of the gift that I give them. I thought it didn't matter at all. That's funny. Now he's pissed. I have a question for you. Huh, you do? That's right. Something's been bothering me for a while now, and I can't take it anymore. So to answer my question, hmm. I need you to explain to me what exactly your ultimate lucky, lucky student title means. Oh, well, I don't totally get it myself, but what I do know is that I was picked at random from a pool of normal students. So in other words... So you just got into Hope's Peak by blind luck? <laughs> I see. Well, that answers my question. What was the question? <laughs> How a commoner like you with absolutely no unique talent or abilities could get into the school. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention boring. How a boring, untalented, utterly generic commoner got in. <laughs> boring? Generic? Did you really have to list all that off? Naturally. But it's the truth. Maybe compared to you, the ultimate... I almost messed that up. Maybe compared to you, the ultimate affluent progeny and all. But even I... <laughs> You seem to think it's merely an issue of title, but make no mistake, my lineage, intelligence, figure, athletic ability, they are all ultimate. In other words... Which is to say, I am the ultimate perfection. Feel free to begin calling me that, in fact. He's really taking this shit to an extreme. <laughs> you, who have nothing, I, who have everything, we are living proof that all men are not created equal. You have my pity, Mikado. Life can be very cruel indeed. And because I pity you so much, perhaps someday I'll allow you to hear the hear my tale of glory. Consider it a blessing, a gift from me to you, to allow you to bask in my glory. What? Who do you think you are, Jesus? Like, what are you talking about? Even Jesus wouldn't talk like that. You think he's Satan? You think he, uh, you think he's Bakugo? I love my hero academia. Bakun, what do you call, what do y'all call it? Uh, I forgot, I don't even know how to say it in Japanese. They all know the show, I love it. Having finished his mean-spirited lecture, Kuya left me standing there in silence. I learned one thing about Kuya today. Anytime I talk to him, I need to be prepared for extreme psychological trauma. That's kind of trash. I like the skill cool and composed. I did my best to keep my spirit from shattering like glass and went back to my room. Do I got some more time? Nope, sure don't. Here come the plot. Enough filler. We already know. We already know. I'm not trying to hear you. Hmm. <coughs> Goodbye. Nighttime already. I guess I'll just go to bed for today. Mmm. The plot thickens. Happy new day. I'm the kind of guy I don't want to celebrate a new year. I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day. Because every new day deserves celebrating, so... Once again, Happy New Day! I don't know what that could have meant. <sighs> mm -hmm. Good morning! I better get to the dining hall. Okay, let's get there. Please, everyone, be here and don't act stupid. Oh, okay. Decent oh. enough. Taka and Kyoko are not here today. You know? Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. Hmm. I have no idea about Taka. Damnation! Man, you're sure forget about that guy. So, um... You don't have to get so mad. You know? They're rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Hmm. Don't put me on the same level as that... That virgin! <laughs> I might catch his virginity! But... 
Nah, my guess is you're already infected. Be frying them. Huh? Wait, can you really catch it? <laughs> Stop being vulgar. Let's eat breakfast. But as soon as my hands approach my food. <laughs> oh! Huh? That voice. The doors to the dining hall exploded open and a figure appeared. <laughs> So in the end... It's you, Genocide Jack, and... That's enough. Don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. Yep. I'll give you a hint. Uh -huh. I'm wearing bright lingerie today. Huh? Um, I don't think anyone wanted to know. Huh? Hold on a second. You? Huh? Huh? Hmm? What? Have you reached that certain age? What's your top power level? Like 35, 22, 33? You shut out on you shut out big on top and try and look thinner down south? You SOB! Look at your melons, they're seriously gargantuan! Do you dunk them in milk every night or something? Oh! You're starting to freak me out. I mean you do got them big bazongas. I'm like, no forgiveness! If you lay a finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy. <sighs> so what do you want? Surely you are not here to join us for breakfast? Naturally. Of course not. I came to hear a story. A story? A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Are you talking about Alter Ego? Mm. Sorry, but we cannot talk about that right now. What? Why not? Huh. Because of certain... circumstances. <sighs> Up till now, you haven't given a crap about anything. And now, you're all concerned? I, I don't buy it. It's all clear now. I've just made a decision. When we get out there, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. <laughs> what kind of messed up dictator are you? What? But isn't this a democracy? Or would you exclude those who don't fit into your tyrannical majority? Th that's not what we're doing. That's fine. Well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him yesterday, I happened to notice something seemed off, so I was curious. Indeed. Taka has become utterly useless. Celeste, you don't have to say it like that. I see. Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand this environment? Those men who clothe themselves in cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. Damn, he's a real villain. <laughs> but perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. Interesting. Such ignorance. Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false com come on oh don't come to rely on false camaraderie or you'll reap its bitter reward. What the heck? That's why you came to give us that amazing advice? <laughs> it seems I am unwelcome here. Then I will grant you your desire and remove myself. Mm, yes, yes. Yeah, let's get out of here. Stop talking. You don't need to come with me. The f yep. back. You don't have to play hard to get, Master. You can just play hard. Whoa, she really want that willy-nilly action. Hmm. That doesn't make any sense. Kuya started to slowly back out of the room. He started picking up speed, and soon he was sprinting out of the dining hall. What? what, 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 what? He ran away? So now he's running hard to get. I see. <laughs> Um... So, so, at the end there, what was that all about? Uh, um... Just now, Kuya was all like... Um... Maybe he's like the mean guy who starts acting different or getting all flustered when things change. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so... Okay. Those of us left in the dining hall finished our breakfast and went back to our rooms. More daytime? You don't give me some more plot, my... Oh my gosh. What to do today? I guess walk around and, and get into more bull bull. Kyoko, we got some slaying to do, let's why? kick it. Who set all this up and why did they choose us? There are so many mysteries. Hmm. Should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Definitely. She the most wow. level-headed. I'm in no position to tell you what to do. You're free to do as you wish, right? But I have my own way of doing things. Okay? I joined Kyoko while she searched the school. We didn't say anything to each other. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. How'd you grow closer with someone whose mouth didn't open at all? 
Would you like to give Kyoko a present? Absolutely. What would you like to give her? Let's see what I can give her. Not sea salt. Not prismatic hard 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 dick. The diamond have no more of those. The G sick? Nah, the red scarf. She might like that. It's tattered and worn due to the countless battles it's been through. Correct. Are you sure about this? Sorry. Does that mean she liked it? Cool. Cool. I don't care if cool you didn't like my shit. She's not gonna talk to me at all? Oh, wow. I can't just sit around and do nothing. I should find something to do. Well, let's see who else can kick it. Um, went to Kuya. Who's this? I already talked to him. Celeste? I guess I could talk to Pac. Stoner ain't got shit to say. I'm gonna talk to Celeste. Is she in the kitchen? Celeste used to be having like interesting takes on things. And plus her voice don't tire me out. <laughs> like, like some of these characters' voices, they be making me all out of breath and shit. And fool me up primarily. How are you? Ah, Mikado, how are you? Hmm, should I hang out with Celeste for a while? Yes, Indeed. dude, I'm here. Would you like to play a game of chance with me? <laughs> I would be happy to empty your wallet and show it to you. Okay, let's play. Celeste gave me the business. <laughs> okay. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Celeste a present? Yes. Celeste, you can have um, you can have this G-Shock. You can have this G-Shock. The G-Sick. Stop it. This is fine. Oh, how wonderful. You can throw it in the trash on your way out. You serious? Give me my watch back. Give me my shit back. Uh-oh, I don't think she was too happy with that. It doesn't even seem to matter, honestly. So nobody want to talk to me after the... Okay. Huh? There's something by the door. Um... What is that? Uh, okay. This piece of paper. It looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Meet in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good. But to want to meet up so suddenly... Who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling me out like this? Kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. Leave the area. I feel like that's Kyoko's. Let's see though. I feel like that's Kyoko. I feel like that's Kyoko. Watch it. Yo! Oh, Mikado! What the f***? Hero? Then the letter I found in my room. You know? Yep. I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Hmm. Well, I was always taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. I don't like ghosts. <laughs> Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet with me? Hmm. Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko, I knew she was involved. Actually, I'm just an errand boy on this. Hmm. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? What? Huh? You know? Okay, let's do it. N no, I... I was totally lost. Hero grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered into my ear. For serious? It's all an act, so the mastermind won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. Ah, what? Then, did Alter Ego finish his search? Y you got it, Hero. Let's, let's go take a dip together, bro. No homo. I was probably louder than I needed to be. When me and Hero hurried to the dressing room. Mmm. Who's all here though? Everybody? Except, oh, everybody, literally. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. F you! Hey, you! How long were you gonna keep us waiting? Saka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. <laughs> What? What'd you say? You want me to make you cry, little bitch? Hmm. <laughs> Taka. He seems to be even worse off than I'd heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. <laughs> what? You got a lot of poo falling out your mouth of yours. You know that bitch? <laughs> what the heck? How rude. A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven sent master. Oh. Hmm. Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. <laughs> Sh shut up! Hey, come on! Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? 
Then my messenger duty is complete! I'll be in the back! Like, what the f you high as f? Hey! You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So, what are we doing here? How about that? Isn't it obvious? It's got something to do with Alter Ego, right? That's right! Yeah, totally! Did he finish to find- did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The Mastermind's true identity? Oh, shit. Kyoko, what does that mean? I should probably ask Kyoko what's going on before anything else. That's what I asked. I tried. It's gone. Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's what I discovered. Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. What? No way! You're kidding, right? <clears throat> oh, um... Uh, huh? What? Sheesh. Gone? F you! You can't be fudging serious! What'd you, what'd you do with them? Hmm. Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? Wrong. I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alter alerted well, us. Maybe we just missed it? However... I was in the laundry room right, right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But if it wasn't the mastermind, then... <laughs> the solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It can only have been... Him! Without a doubt! Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? What? I'm the ultimate moral compass! I would never do something like that! Hmm... I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. F you! You're the suspicious one here! You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat! <laughs> Show us what you know, this isn't even my true final form! I should have three more transformations left! Damnation! Wait, I, I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. Yeah! Wrong. It's you. For serious. Well, I'm, I'm sure it was one of you. So whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. Wrong. No, there's no way either one of them had did it. Huh? Huh? Why not? So. I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came into the into the dressing room. I can't talk to them. What? 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 Whew. It was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. <sighs> but I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly, which means it wasn't them. But... Then, who was it? So that's it. The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. Nigga, you took it, Taka. I know it was you. I mean, Kuya, I know it was you. You always taking it, bro. I don't know what that means. Like, you always trying to, like, take it and try and frame somebody else. Like, like you're not slick, bro. I'm, I'm on to you. If it wasn't the mastermind and it wasn't Taka or Ifumi, then quite simply it was someone else. <laughs> Makado, Celeste, Sak Sakira, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. That's terrible! Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? It's you. <laughs> How about this for a reason? There is a traitor among us. Huh? Hmm. One of us is working for the mastermind. A spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It, it can't be. Hmm. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. The mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something like something that horrible? There's no way. What? Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? Say what? I don't care! I don't it's care like... who... Someone... Anyone... Save her! Please rescue her! I'm begging you! I just want to see her smiling face again! Damn it! Same here! How many times do they have to kill bro before they happy? I'll beg, I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just please give him back. So, um... This is pretty messed up. But still, I think I kind of get how they feel. At the very least. I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe, for the moment at least. Yes, indeed. If they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. 
I see. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him? Something else? Damn it! That doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. <laughs> I'm late. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back. That's my promise as a man. I swear, I will save her! Who is that? Whose voice was that? Using the power of love. Hmm. <clears throat> this is as such. Soon the door. Okay then. So the doors are locked. What does that mean? We locked in here together? Mm. Oh, never mind. It's night time. There is nothing to be done. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep. <laughs> How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. <sighs> What good are you if you are tired? You will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. Why does she keep looking to the side all of a sudden? And why is she so calm? Oh, Celeste, I'm on yeah! you Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here. Calm down. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Mikado? I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. Taka Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if, just for tonight, you can try to endure it. This is fine. Okay, then let us part for today. We will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. Hmm. And you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the mastermind. Oof. Alter Ego, gone as quickly as he appeared. We'd finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us. We couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope, and then what that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like, it's like what the mastermind is doing to us. Then, could it really be true, whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the mastermind? And if that's true, no, it can't be. There's no way. I didn't even realize I yelled that out loud. The scary thing is, isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is, the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it! I threw myself into the bed, trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. <sighs> okay. Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of the history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes, the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. I swear when I move, I'm getting me a standing chair. Like, it's going, I mean, a standing desk. This sitting down is doing damage on my freaking back. Good morning, Everett. Mm -hmm. Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first, to the dining hall. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out what was waiting there for me, what does that mean? I'm not ready for more death. Hmm. Is this it? What happened to the others? Hmm. Aren't they coming? There were only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me, only four people? Hmm. God! This is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. However... Anyway, let's wait a little while longer for the others. So we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited... Um... So, it's 8 o'clock. We've been waiting here for a full hour. Mm hmm? Why haven't the others come? Because, I mean... Hero and Celeste have never missed a day till now. And what I'm really worried about is... Ifumi and Taka... 
They were more eager than anyone to look for alter ego and they're not here. That's true. That's true. It can't be. Something must have happened. Huh? It would seem... I was careless. I was too distracted by alter ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive? The money. Ooh. Ten million dollars! I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here. What do you think? It, it's like totally wow. It I'm not trying to hear that boy again. Don't tell me someone did something for money. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood and I hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here and you can't consider it strange. Not really. Hey. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Hmm. Okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. Hey. We can cover more ground if we split up. I hate this song. This scene's blah. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Mikado, you check the first floor of the school. And meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. Anyway. Don't take any risk. If anything happens, call for help right away. But... I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Well, then. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. You already knew it was coming, bruh. Look around the first floor when we get back. This is a solid place to stop. That's the thing about Monokuma, bruh. He always know how to, like, getting people heads the worst way. And this whole situation couldn't have come at a worse time. Alter Ego. I have a feeling it's either got to be Kuya or Celeste. Celeste was trying to rush us out of the room yesterday. That shit was weird. And the fact that Hafumi actually picked up on it makes me think, like, it, she, it, it, was, it was bigger than, than they wanted it to, to seem, I'm sure. Or, 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 like, she was more noticeable about it than, you know what I'm trying to say, bro. It's late. I'm trying to get these videos for y'all. I love y'all, man. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Truly appreciate it. If you are new, please subscribe for more videos. And as always, love each and every one of you. Yeah, you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, y'all. Now, but you can still survive okay, and escape. Okay, bitch, what you finna do? Hold on.